Now in this video, we're going to create another tree, similar to the one we've created before, but keeping in with the spring theme, I'm going to use some very bright colors in this case. We're really going to push the fantasy element in this tree. After drawing in a nice big round pink circle, similar to how we did in the previous tree, I'm going to kind of hide my uh, background, my gray background now and then just to see how my tree looks on the white. New layer, I'm going to select a light grayish blue and I'm going to start painting in the tree trunk. To create like a thin almost isosceles triangle shape and again taking my eraser I'm going to erase out the edges to give it that nice hard edge and now with a thin angled brush I'm just going to start painting in some very thin branches going up into the tree. The for this particular tree would be from the cherry blossom trees that you would see um, around springtime. They blew just around then and I'm going to create a tree similar to that. Now let's uh, make sure to erase out any branches um, that are not sticking outside of the tree. You want to give them a nice thin tip um, on the ends. And now with a nice thin brush, I'm going to start adding in some very thinner branches coming out from the tree. This is just to fill it up and uh, so that it doesn't look so sparse. Um, and also we don't want to have such a bright shock of pink. We want to break that up a little with the silhouette of the trunk. And now let's have some little branches coming in from the bottom as well. And just curving in. Um, we want to make it look pretty and stylized. I want to add more fullness to the trunk again. And uh, I want to give it a nice straight base at the bottom. I can do this by holding down the shift key and er you know using my eraser just going back and forth. When you hold down the shift key it forces you to make a straight line. This is great for if you're painting very fast and you don't want to you know bother using the ruler or anything like that. Just hold down the shift key and you can get straight lines anywhere. And again just holding down the shift key with a lighter color and with a slightly lower opacity on my brush, I'm just going to loosely paint in a little bit of lighting. This instantly gives my tree some dimension and doesn't make it look too flat. And now let's hide the gray just to see what the tree looks like. I like to do this often um, just to make sure that the colors are okay and that my background um, isn't completely see-through um, and is opaque. And now with the darker looking grayish blue, I'm going to start adding in a little shadow to some parts of the branches, just so that it looks like some of them are in the back, some of them are coming forward. This again just creates some dimension. It's a very cool, flat kind of style. Um, it makes the tree look stylized, but it also feels like it belongs in a fantasy film or cartoon or video game. And now on a new multiply layer, 
I'm going to just loosely add in these strokes with a darker color. This instantly gives my tree trunk that birch tree feel to it. Um, and I'm just going to keep them very loose and just twirl around the tree so that they have this very pretty kind of birch tree feel to them. And now in a new layer, selecting um, the pink tree, I'm going to create a light highlight around it. Make sure that you're in a new layer and that you have a nice big brush. And using a lighter pink, I'm just going to add in some highlight around my tree. Just going to hide the gray uh, for a minute because I just want to see what my trees um, look like on a white background. And, and you know, I want to make sure that the contrast isn't too low and, you know, the tree isn't just too uh, desaturated. I want to make sure that it pops. And now with a eraser, I have selected another Photoshop brush um, that isn't grainy per se, but has a very nice rough edge to it. This is also one of Photoshop's default brushes. Usually when you click on it, it has water edges on, it has transparency on. Turn all of that off. We're just going to use the brush as it is. And I'm going to erase out these very circular shapes. And then again with my brush, I'm going to paint over that to lightly erase it. We don't want these shapes to be too hard and too obvious. Now in this particular tree, I'm not painting in, you know, direct leaf shapes. I want to just keep it very loose um, and stylized just to create an indication of where leaves are and to kind of trick our eyes into believing um, that this, you know, is this kind of loose painterly feel will fill in the blanks for us. And I'm going to create a very saturated layer on a new layer on top of my trunk. Right now I think it's a little gray and I want to make it much brighter and I want it to really pop so that it, you know, looks good with having that bright pink um, bush above it. Now again with the other textured brush, uh, that I used before to edit out the trunk. I'm going to use that again to, you know, make these branches a little more fluid, not as thick, um, just so that they work well and have a really cool feel to our, our tree. And now again with a nice big brush, I'm just going to loosely paint in the highlight on top of my tree, again on a new layer. And we're going to erase out the shapes again. And I'm just creating like little round shapes as I paint around the tree. I don't want to keep it too, um, you know, I kind of, I'm going with the rhythm of where I think the leaves and how I think that they would grow kind of around the tree in a very rounded shape. And now on a new layer with an even lighter color, but the same big round brush, I'm going to loosely paint in the highlight. Notice how I'm kind of creating the illusion of where the leaves are and just really adding depth by layering in uh, the different shades of darkness. You know, I've kind of gone from dark in the middle out to light on the outside. And we've made this a very gradual process. That's it, we're done with creating our spring cherry blossom tree. I've kept it very simple yet very stylized. Let's compare both the trees together. Do you see how they have a very different but yet similar approach to them? This is just another different technique on how to paint the tree. Now in the next tutorial, we're going to take it in even a step further. I'm going to use very contrasting bright colors um, and it's going to go into full fantasy mode and we're going to create something almost a little bit alien-esque as well, but perfect for a nice bright um, spring season tree.